one question I wanted to ask you was uh, I was speaking the other day about something that I was speaking about that was filled with a little resistance and I was in the momentum of it and then a bird came and it banged into the window. That's not the first time that that's happened to me with birds. I'm curious about that, Abraham. Well, birds, they're so available and so ready, willing and able to bring messages to get your attention. A lot happens with birds. Thank you. Go back to what you were saying. We want to talk about that just a little bit because here's a statement. This is something that you can capture from this seminar today and take home with you as a new decision of behavior that will serve you more productively than anything else that we tell you today or ever. Oh, we're out of time. No. <laughs> so here it is. When you find yourself on a thought pathway, and you recognize that you're on a thought pathway that is causing more dissatisfaction than satisfaction make a decision you will not speak it out loud to anyone i'm going to keep this one to myself because it's controllable for just such a little bit of time but when you start formulating a sentence Oh, it goes from satisfaction into something else. And when you say it out loud, it gets more momentum. And when somebody else hears you say it, no matter what their response is, if they agree with you or disagree with you, it goes further still. If you can catch yourself at the beginning stages of one of those thought pathways, and you then remember, this is not going to come out of my mouth. I am not going to take it from here to here just because I don't have the discipline to keep my mouth shut because you do you have so much control when you just feel slight dissatisfaction about something because slight dissatisfaction you can easily look toward a satisfying thought of some kind even usually about that yeah one last thing when we were up there uh, at the reception there was some um, I'll say a family drama that occurred and for some most fun family and, and I can't explain this and I'm looking to you for that when all of it um, well, first, before you start we want to hear it but before you do just focus on the I everyone focus on the convergences that are happening what influence are people under Esther's at the baggage carousel, realizing she's worried about her bag. And she says right out loud to herself, I can't be worried and satisfied at the same time. Make a choice. Because it wasn't coming, wasn't coming, wasn't coming. She was getting more nervous and more nervous and more nervous. She was worried about it. She was not satisfied. But then she had an option. But by the time you converge at a celebration of death we know it's life but they don't mean it let's celebrate his life <laughs> let's celebrate his life let's celebrate all the wonderful things that have happened as he demonstrates the thing that we dread most and fear the most in all the world in other words most people doesn't matter what you call it or what label you stick on it you don't put a happy face sticker on your gas gauge just because it bothers you when it's empty I don't want to know that it's discouraging you sort of want to know that the gas tank is empty so you can fill it back up and so there's a lot of convergence that happened and so don't be surprised that convergence and expectation results in this is where you come in what happened the drama but something happened to me that I can't explain I'm looking um, to, to you for the answer happened to you then in that moment in the moment when there was arguing and fighting going on it seemed like I was pulled out of it like a third-party awareness I couldn't hear sound I was watching what was going on and then I, how do you know anything was happening visually so you saw it but you didn't hear it you must have been in their section <laughs> There was, it, I just saw, it was like a motion picture. It was like I was removed from it. So let's talk about that. So there was a convergence of people with a whole lot of different things going on with them as individuals. And 
those that were having the drama they were attracted to one another and gave each other what each other expected them to give but you've been practicing different things and so you were in a different vibrational frequency and so just like a radio dial that you can tune and hear one thing or another something like that was happening we would say you were under the influence of source even under the influence of the dearly departed under the influence of what really matters under the influence of who you really are we don't wish to imply that we want you to move through life experience where your ears are blocked or your sight is blocked or even your experience is blocked from the co-creation that others are having around you we don't mean that at all we mean we want your perspective to be so well established that you have a different experience than they do and we want to say also that that's always true if a hundred people come together you're having a hundred different experiences even though you're witnessing some of the same things because what you experience in any moment in time is much more about your vibrational set point who you are when you got there than it is about what you witness after you're there that's why eyewitness reports are so interesting to people being at the same place at the same time having very different perspectives of what goes on and so oh the more you are blended with your inner being the more you will have your unique experiences and there are some who say Esther has some friends who are saying to her from time to time I'm sort of lonely because I don't relate to what's going on in most social conversations and Esther will say I know what you mean but when you have your perspective and your perspective is perceiving there's always something for you to receive that is beneficial for you and something for you to give that is beneficial for others we don't want you to think of it as being protected we want you to think of it as being on a different wavelength and really let's talk about this in very real terms who was the reason that you were there it was my grandfather yeah and who do you think you were most in conversation with isn't that obvious isn't that obvious you were tuned to that that's why you were there that's what you were receiving and so now it wasn't so much conversational as it was experiential in other words what did it feel like having this vibrational conversation with him fun amazing celebratory laughter living life my way enjoying it. and who else was having that with you not many people and are you prepared and we mean this are you prepared to walk through the world this way yeah absolutely and how do you think the other people that want you to join their fight are gonna feel about that come on pick a side come on pick a side pick a side you say I have no 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 we don't want that airy fairy crap we don't want to pick in a side with source energy we want you to pick a side right here and now well can you pick a side without disconnecting from all that you really are you sort of have to decide am I satisfied or not because there's a whole lot of people for a whole lot of reasons that they feel very justified about that are not satisfied but you know what they're doing they're creating mediocre lives where only the loudest or the biggest or the meanest or the strongest is having any actual movement of moving stuff from place to place meanwhile they are squandering their true connection with source energy they are disallowing the true leverage of brilliance and clarity and love you see we've been saying recently and we like this picture so much and mostly we like the way it resonates with you moves you to new understanding so in your physical world with so many manifestations personalities behaviors experiences humans who are enamored by manifestations and that's fine you came to create manifestations so we're not trying to distract you from them but most humans are looking at that manifested world and trying to pigeonhole it and catalog it and so they are labeling sections of it or factions of it they're the democratic people and the republican people and there are the black people and the white people and there are the gay people and the straight people and there are the good dressers and the bad dressers there are the mothers who stay home with their children and mothers who go to work every subject that you can think about there are piles of people that the other piles don't really appreciate none of the piles really like the behavior of the other piles and it becomes the way most people address life with pushing against a lot of other piles and what we 
would encourage you to do is to mix all those piles together just scramble them all up into one big old pile and then sift them into two piles in this moment those who are in alignment with their inner being under the influence of their source energy or those who are under the influence of something else because in every one of those other categories and the millions of other categories that we did not name in all of those categories there are always those in alignment and those not those under the influence of source and those under the influence of something else and so if that will be what you are paying attention to then you don't get so factioned off then you don't start making decisions that don't serve you based upon things that don't have anything to do with anything and once you understand that there are only those two piles those in alignment in this moment and those not those under the influence of source energy in this moment or those under the influence of something else and you just make sure by practicing when it's easy what under the influence you are under the influence of then your world becomes one sort of like you've described where most everything else that's going on that is disturbing in nature is irrelevant to you because it's outside of your point of attraction and there are those who are embroiled in all of those struggles and battles who might very well resent you for what you might say rising above it and we don't really mean it in any way of snobbery we mean it vibrationally most of them would want you to join them and pick some of those other piles but what you have to say to yourself don't tell them because they won't understand it in most cases but if you are to pick a side then you always choose away from who you really are and when you choose away from who you really are then when you're in those situations you described you're not tuned out from it you're tuned in from it so you're as miserable as they are can you share with us something to say when uh, to people who are curious about what you're doing and where you've been because I remove myself a lot of times from that and I will pick the pile and I'll spend my time focused there and then if I share with certain people about it it seems like there's split energy there but any little dialogue that you can share to someone well, it's, it's not so much what we would say we will give you some words it's not what we would say it's the timing of when we say it because if you're under the influence of source and they're not they're not gonna hear you anyway in the same way that you tuned them out they'll tune you out they'll see your lips moving <laughs> but they won't understand anything that you're saying this thing works in either case doesn't it so if someone is asking and you can feel that you are in the vibrational vicinity of one another then it's a wonderful thing to talk about how good it is to feel good and how much better you feel the better you feel and how you're getting good at sifting and sorting and focusing on things that allow benefits to come to you what upliftment is really is demonstrating through the clarity of your example how the laws of the universe work and everyone is demonstrating that because no one is outside of it no one is an exception to it but when you're doing it on purpose and getting the results that you intend and then others get to witness you getting the results that you intend and then they want to know how it is that you get the results that you intend it's a wonderful thing when you say well I've discovered that how I feel is a big part of all of this and I've learned to guide my thoughts to more and more satisfying things and at first it was difficult but it gets easier and easier and if you want to tell them about law of attraction that would be extremely helpful to them if you want to tell them about their own guidance system that's extremely helpful to them if you want to talk about the laws of the universe as you know them to be that's extremely helpful to them you just have to know Esther sometimes will be sitting next to someone on an airplane or somewhere who really wants to know what makes her tick and she gives them as much as she can feel they are able to hear because there are so many ways of describing this and then as she hears back from them more things that makes her understand that they've already got that sometimes they just get nose to nose in this very satisfying philosophical conversation about how everything works and sometimes they keep it light and mostly they don't talk at all thank you if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one.